How's it going everyone? I'm Sachin, I'm a life coach and spiritual mentor and I make videos every single day to help you create a better tomorrow today. And this is how to leave the matrix. So another part in the series, today I'm talking about society. Oh my God, society. I used to watch a lot of TV and one of the things I really liked was um, Mr. Robot. In this program, yeah, they're exposing a lot of shit. The Matrix, the movie was exposing a lot of stuff. But the main thing that I always say is, like I used to say it a lot, I say fuck society. And some people get pissed off. They're like, oh, how can you say that? Oh, that's a really bad thing. No, society is a construct of the Matrix. Now, this is not like, oh, gender is a societal construct. That's a whole video for another day, which I'm not touching right now. If you're offended by that, send me some questions because I would love to go into that another time. Society is a construct of the matrix because it's the idea that they're like, just come over here and you enjoy yourself. Relax, put your feet up. You got a hard job, you go to work Monday to Friday and you got the evening to chill out, go and watch some TV. Oh, don't bother working on your health. Don't look within, you know, you just sit there and enjoy yourself. Yeah, it'll be fine, don't worry. Bam, next thing you know, you're 73 years old and you got a billion regrets weighing down on your head and on your heart. And by then it's too late. You can't go and chase the one that got away because he or she might be dead by then. Just saying, like, society is a very dangerous place for us to live in. So when I say that, you know, some people might be like, oh, what the hell am I supposed to live in? It doesn't mean not going to the, the, the fucking grocery store. It doesn't mean not doing your daily thing. It doesn't mean not going to work. You can still live your life, but you don't have to be a part of this. The main thing I can say is when stuff is trending, right? I don't pay attention to it, especially music. I don't want to know what's trending. I don't want to know what's top in the charts or any of this BS because I know that they want me to take on some sort of mental imagery that's not gonna serve me. So like the Rihanna song, work, 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 work I don't really know any of the other words, but that's the only word that I heard, so I don't know. Um, everyone was like, yeah, work, work, work. that's reinforcing the idea that all our lives are about is work. And yeah, you might say, oh, you're a conspiracy theorist, man, with the tinfoil hat on. That's up to you. But for me personally, I don't want to take on that mental imagery. I don't want to store that in my subconscious mind and think, yeah, man, all I gotta do is work, 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 work. No, I don't want to do that. What do I want to do? I want to look at nature and be like, oh, wow, the trees look beautiful today. The air smells fucking amazing today. I'm so happy to be alive. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna do my work. When I come back, I'm gonna move into the body. I'm gonna exercise. I'm gonna create some stuff. I'm gonna make content for my blog. I'm gonna make some videos and I'm gonna enjoy myself and I'm gonna eat some damn good food while I'm doing it. Another thing that society wants us to do is conform, right? They want us to reject our individual nature. So when people say, I don't fit in, I say, congratulations, man. Like that's a sign that, you know, you're recognizing that you're authentic, you're unique. You're not like everyone else who is homogenized. I don't really like that word, but I get why people say it. This society wants us to be homogenized into one way of thinking, one way of acting. Buy this and it will make you popular. Do this and it'll make you popular. Do this dance move and it'll make you popular. I don't want to do any of that. I want to do what makes me feel good. When I was trying to be popular, I was fucking miserable. And, and I noticed everyone else was. Look, you might say, oh, how do you know they were having a good time? Society would have you believe that having a lot of friends is gonna fulfill you, right? It's gonna make you feel really popular and wow, that's amazing. But when I was a part of these massive friends groups, I noticed that everyone was talking about each other behind each other's backs. And I was really confused by this. So I asked one of them, I was like, do you know that this person said this about you? Yeah, he's a prick. So why are you friends with him? Oh, you know, you, you, that's just how it goes. Well, I don't want friends like that. Like, I believe I'm worthy of having friends who support me, who want it, want the best for me and don't talk bad about me. They say that your parents are like the realest friends you'll ever had because they say good things about you behind your back and, and like they give you the reality check to your face. And I, that's the kind of friends that I have. I don't want anyone who's going to be talking bad about me to be in my circle. So society would have me believe that the more friends I've got, the more popular I'll be, the, more, the better I'll feel. But I never felt more disconnected when, than when I was around these people because all they were doing was bad mouthing each other, trying to stir the drama, you know. Oh, did you hear about her? Yeah, she had sex with him. Then he doesn't know about it, but oh my God. What kind of sense does that make? 
So that's, that's one portion of it, right? Then we want to look at the foods, which is a huge part of it. You want to tell me that eating KFC is a great thing. If, if you're not trying to tell me that, why is it all over the TV? And why isn't there a big warning label that says do not consume more than X amount of times a month? And that's not in their agenda. They want to make money off us. They don't want us to live a life that serves and fulfills us. They want us to be subdued. When you eat those processed foods and those fried foods and this was fast food stuff, it's weighing you down. It's taking the energy away from your body and there's a lot of chemicals in there that are subduing the mind. Now we can go into conspiracy theories like, oh, they put this and that in the food and it affects you this way. I think we can all agree, fast food's not good for you. If you eat it too much and processed food as well, if you eat it a couple of times a week, you're probably gonna manifest some diseases down the road. Another thing that they would have us believe is that this is normal. Why do I wanna be normal when I can be unique and be myself? This has never come before and it will never be here again. What they're trying to tell me is that, oh no, f you know, fuck your individual nature, that doesn't matter, you wanna be like this. You want to uh, aspire to be like this celebrity. You want to have this kind of body. You want to reject everything that makes you unique and you want to be like this. I don't want to do that. You know why? Because my individual nature makes me happy. I get so much fulfillment out of knowing that no one makes videos like me. You'll never see this personality in someone else because this is me being uniquely me. Authenticity is key. They would rather have us say, but when you talk like this, you act like this and that's it. And then you'll be successful. If that was the case, why isn't everyone really happy? Why are bad things happening? Because society is not working. And it's not about pointing the finger and saying, oh yeah, society shit, fuck you. It's about recognizing that I don't want to be a part of that. So I'm going to create the life that I want to live. And the most important thing is when we're doing that, we don't need to like provoke other people and say, oh yeah, I'm doing this and, and you're an idiot because you don't believe in it or you're still doing that. That's up to them. If they haven't woken up to it, that's up to them. I know someone who uh, said to me a long time ago, oh yeah, I'm gonna be a millionaire. I was like, oh, that, that's great. Like what kind of business are you gonna build? And they, they just looked at me like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, that's the way you get to that kind of level. You gotta build a business, you gotta get people to care about what you're doing, you gotta serve people most of all, you have to be providing something of value. You gotta solve a problem that exists in the world and people will pay you money for your solution, right? And they just looked at me like, no, I'm just gonna win the lottery. What? What do you mean you're gonna win the lottery? Yeah, I'm gonna win it. How do you know that? And again, sold the dream by society. Society wants you to believe, yeah, I'm gonna win the lottery one day and I'm gonna get something for nothing and it's all gonna be amazing. This is why we have so much dysfunctional stuff going on. People are being sold a dream, being lied to by society and then believing in that so much that when it's not working for them, so that woman who told me that she's in her 60s now, She's very miserable and she's trying to take it out on other people. And I'm not going to name and I'm not going to shame the person, but we need to be on the lookout for these kinds of things and see that, okay, that's your belief system. It might be working out for you, but your behavior shows me that it's not because all you're trying to do is do dysfunctional stuff to other people. That's where a lot of the dysfunction is born from in society. Some people have children, they may, may not have been ready for it. And then they resent the child because you know, the body changes shape. They don't feel up to exercising to get it back to normal. They start eating foods that aren't serving them and they're just looking at the child as though it's a burden on them rather than an amazing addition to the world. That's a story for another time. We wanna observe someone's behavior who's living in society and say, well, look, you followed the course that they have set out for you and you're acting in this way. Is that working out for you? Maybe not from my perspective, it doesn't look like that. So I'm gonna distance myself from you and this so that I don't have anything to do with that. There's a lot of pressure on young people. You gotta get married quickly, you're early. You've gotta get a job, you gotta get promotions and stuff. Why? Let me tell you something very real right now. And a lot of you aren't gonna be happy when you, when you hear me say this, so, but I don't care because it's true. People were telling me you gotta get married. And I was like, no, because when you are married and you have children and stuff and you're working, that's two thirds of your life that are gone. The other third you're spent sleeping. So you got to make sure that your work is enjoyable and your family life is enjoyable. Otherwise you're going to be part of society. You're going to be hooked up to that machine. You're going to be seeking out dopamine hits wherever you go because you want to distract yourself from this life that you're living. And it's not really a life. They just want us to exist. 
They don't want us to thrive. They don't want us to create solutions to problems that exist in the world because it's too hard. Yes, it's fucking difficult. If you want to be a millionaire, that shit's fucking difficult. You're not going to be it by just saying, oh yeah, I'm going to win the lottery. You might do, but that's a very small percentage of people. That's not a strategy for financial freedom. They also want us to believe in instant gratification, which is the idea that you do something and you get instant results. Whereas, look, I, one of my favorite quotes of all time is anything that's worth having doesn't come easy and anything that comes easy is not worth having. And that's what's the opposite of society. They want us to believe, I'll just drink the alcohol and you'll be fine. I'll just eat the KFC and you'll be fine. I'll just spend time in your workplace and you'll be fine. Yes, you might be able to pay your bills and shit, but how are you feeling inside? They don't want us to have a relationship with ourselves. And that's very dysfunctional. That's when we have the midlife crisis, had mine very early. That's when we have the poor relationships, been there, done that. That's when we're continually seeking out distractions because we're not fulfilled. Society relies on you not being fulfilled, so you buy products. Oh. I might get a nose job because, you know, it made me feel better about myself and I can take pictures from certain angles and guys will think I'm hot or girls will think I'm hot and that will do wonders for me. When does it stop? You might get bicep implants and be like, oh yeah, other guys are giving me respect and yeah, yeah. When does it stop? There's always going to be someone else who's got a, the, like, a, who's better looking. I don't really agree with that, but there's always going to be someone who's got the feature that you desire and you're gonna keep chasing it and it's not gonna work for you because you never looked within. And that's why they're winning. Of course, times are changing right now. There's a huge shift going on on the planet, but we need to recognize that they don't want us to win. We are going to win anyway. And I'll tell you why, because we're woke. Yes, everyone loves to use that word. I find it quite funny. We are woke individuals, right? That means we can look within. The eye is open. The third eye right here is open. So we don't have to worry about, oh my God, I don't have the latest Gucci watch. We don't give a fuck about that stuff. We're looking at, oh my God, I don't have any avocados today. Fuck, I better run down to the grocery store. We're not worried about, I need to be doing this dance. We're worried about, how's my dog doing today? How's my mom? How's my siblings? We are worried about things that actually matter to us. They want us to be very concerned with keeping up this appearance that we're fucking amazing. We are amazing. Let's get that out of the way. Every single one of us, whether you're asleep or you're awake, doesn't matter. We are all amazing. But it's about waking up and recognizing our own greatness. If you've got a problem with society, I would love to hear from you and I'd love to have these kind of conversations. So hit me up. The Instagram thing is right here. Send me a DM. If you want to have a private conversation with me, the link is down below. Email me info at satchansharmalifecoach.com and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.